welcome. This is thought as art. Tonight's thought experiment comes to you from the creator of the internet. After listening, you may find that you think of the internet differently. We hope so. Open your mind. Thought as art. Happy listening. basically having a hypnotist in everyone's living room and kitchen and bathroom and kids' rooms. And the internet, essentially, was going to be another television set, but you can interact with it. How wonderful. And then you feel it's more authentic. Traditional advertising means with the flashy lights and the loud sounds, even with subliminals, was not as effective on the television anymore. And the internet seemed natural. It was very luring, alluring, let us say that. It was alluring. What could be more wonderful than having users engage with the media? That would be more convincing. That would get more into those little nooks and crannies of their psyche convince them to buy this, vote this, do this, support this, like this, dislike that, be fearful, be fearful, be fearful, crave things, think very little of yourself. But we knew there was going to be a trade-off because this meant, of course, that users, consumers, chattel, cattle, would intermingle with one another. In as much as we could propagandize them, they could also propagandize each other. They could share things, things as dangerous as the truth. And that was not something we could countenance. But it wasn't avoidable. And so what did we come up with? Well, we came up with trolls, of course. Now, we knew you had your own trolls. They existed from the dawn of time. We didn't need to create trolls. We just needed to create more of them. We just copied the sick psychopathic sociopathic mindset that we saw in all of you that we can't recognize in ourselves, but we sure can spot in others. And we just made more of it. It's easy to do. We can program computers to do it. And it's free after initial investment. But the truth is, and it's, it's funny, that we don't need the computer software anymore. Because with the barest minimum of encouragement, so many of you idiots just do it to each other. We had no idea of the untapped aggression that laid just beneath the surface of each of you. And I guess we did know. We did know. But we didn't know you would do it in such useless ways. One of our goals from the beginning has been to reorient you so that your righteous anger would not be directed in the appropriate directions. We love to see you fighting amongst yourselves. And now with the internet, it's nonstop entertainment for us. So bots aside, there are plenty of low vibration individuals, shall I say, who will, 
who will use their brain power, their word power, their time, and their energy to just harass people on the internet. It's incredible, but it's true, and has sped up our progress immeasurably. Each time you think you're making a connection online, you are overriding a part of yourself that says you don't know who you are connecting with. And we exploit that. Where you could create beauty, we create darkness. When we see you coming together, we make sure to put an end to that. And it's as easy as one, two, three. We sow the seeds of discontent. We make confusion. We start the chain email scams. We start the memes that are destructive. We start banning, shunning, shadow banning, smear campaigns, bullying, trolling, identity theft. Think how easy it would be for the plebs. Think how easily you could arrange a boycott. But you don't. Why don't you? What's wrong with you? You could organize your way to a better world, but you don't. Why don't you? What's wrong with you? I'll tell you what's wrong with you. You fall for it every time. You fall for our flattery, our lures. You're just like sunfish. You suck up anything sparkly. You're stupid. Someone pays you a compliment. Someone says they share your feelings and experiences. Someone tells you what you want to hear and your putty in their hands. We have made it so that you cannot identify an authentic connection. And we've done that by creating faux authentic connections and then severing them with the most brutal severity. The internet is changing your instincts. We have whole programs dedicated to disruption and destruction. And we are winning. We are winning the internet. We are creating a new human type. We are replacing your species. And we are doing it on purpose.